a very important reaction given by means is hinzberg uh, test that is carried out with the help of the hinzberg reagent which is like this it is called as benzene sulfonyl chloride the reagent for the hinzberg test is benzene sulfonyl chloride and why this reaction is important because it is a test for primary secondary and tertiary means glucose test pada tha primary secondary tertiary alcohols ke beech mein similarly we have a test for uh, primary secondary and tertiary amines which is called as hinzberg test now what is it this compound the reagent it looks like this so now if you are treating it with let's say let me treat it with your primary amine now what will happen we all know that this bond will shift here because oxygen is more electronegative this also will shift here chlorine is also uh, electron withdrawing so what will chlorine do chlorine will also pull up the electrons towards itself leaving this sulfur positive so now this lone pair will go and attack here so i will get a compound like this i will have a sulfur here and i will have a oxygen oxygen negative oxygen negative and i will have nh2 and also nh2 will be having this r and this chlorine will be negative here this is just a temporary phase that i am drawing here so what will happen is this will leave so eventually what will i have i will have this h uh, cl minus will leave with one of the hydrogens from here so i will have a minus hcl going out and the compound that i will get is because this will then come back here after this step is done so it will be n r and h right along with hcl that has been released now when i add aqueous koh to this reaction what will happen this h and this oh will form water and this reaction will proceed with the elimination of water so now what will i have is i'll have this sulfur double bond here double bond n r and k plus n minus k plus this is called as potassium salt of an alkyl benzene sulfonide now what you have to learn here is that this particular compound dissolves it is soluble in this koh so whenever you are treating this with a primary amine your hinzberg reagent with a primary amine the product is soluble in the solution but at the same time when you do it with a secondary amine let me do it with a secondary amine also now instead of doing all the steps in the mechanism i can directly write that this cl and this hydrogen will leave so this would be minus hcl and i will get the compound like this now you will dissolve it in aqueous koh but whatever the product is formed it is insoluble It, there is no salt formation here so if you get a question to distinguish between the primary and secondary amine when you will do it with the hinzberg reagent the primary uh, product would be soluble and the secondary will be insoluble now what will happen if i do it with a tertiary amine now what will happen now there is no hydrogen here to be lost so this chlorine is not going anywhere so there is going to be no reaction so hinzberg test you have primary the product is soluble secondary the product is insoluble and for tertiary there is no reaction